Hello, today is July 24th, 2020. And last night I had a dream and God said that it was a night vision and that I should tell all. Um, and so I'm just going to go straight into it. So I was having a dream or a vision of myself sitting in a room outside of the sanctuary where I had once attended, once worshipped. Uh, it was as if I was heading back to that place. And as I sat in this group of, you know, there were several people there in the room, I asked a question. I said, can anyone explain why there is an image of Jesus in the sanctuary? And the pastor began to uh, try to explain. But his words were uh, not they were not uh, entering into my ear almost. It was almost like he was speaking, but I wasn't hearing what he was saying as he tried to explain. And I looked towards the back corner of the room where it was once empty. I saw Jesus sitting in the corner of the room and his hair was like gold. And his hair covered his face. That I could not see his face. But rather than responding uh, to this uh, explanation, I pointed towards the corner and I said, Can anyone see Jesus? Can you see him? And no one could see him. It was as if he was spiritually there, but even his face was hidden, but they could not see any of this. And so I knew that Jesus loved them because Jesus was in the room with us. And I loved them as I would love my own children. And so I said, It's okay. Don't worry. It's like a band-aid. We have to tear it off. We have to pull it down. We have to take it down, take down the image. Just like when you have a band-aid, when you tear it off, it may hurt at first. But when it's off, you will see that the wound has already been healed. And as I spoke those words and finished saying the statement of those words, I looked back towards Jesus. And what I saw was Jesus in the same place, but his face was alive. And I still did not see his eyes or his ears, or his mouth, or his nose. I didn't see a face, but the hair that was covering his face became as many heads of many golden lions. They were moving around as if the wind was blowing in his hair. And I saw all these lions and I was terrified and in awe of what I saw. And when I woke up from this night vision, it was right after seeing that image. And I was both terrified and in awe saying, surely this is the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. And surely the spirit of Jesus Christ is alive. We cannot worship man, nor beast, nor image of a beast. 
We need to take down all these things. There is no life in them. There is no breath in them. In the day of deliverance, you will not be delivered or saved by an image. You should not have it in your place of worship. It must be removed. It must be taken down. But know that Jesus loves you and he desires for you to know him and to know your, know his spirit is alive and to know his presence is in the room. And where two or more are gathered in his name, there he is in the midst of them. And so though it may come as a rebuking and a chastening, he does this because he loves you. And that was the, the night vision. And the hard part of it is that God has shown me like this image. Or even this video that I'm recording now. Or pictures that I've taken of myself. Selfies and those sort of things. That we are creating an image. That is not to be worshipped. Jesus says unto Peter, Peter, do you love me more than these? Are you willing to let go of your image? Are you willing to let go of who you are to be known by him? To be allowed to come back unto him even after you have maybe denied him? And it would be as if Jesus was returning to his church alive and seeing that you have placed in your church an image which is dead. He is saying, I'm alive. I'm alive. I am here. Take down that which was dead. See and know that I am alive, that my spirit is alive, that I want you to know me, that I am the King of kings and the Lord of lords, that I have died and risen from the dead, and I am alive forevermore. Receive me. Now, he may be that, that quiet one in the corner of the room, but his presence is known and felt by me. And I pray that you would be able to know and feel his presence. That we would come to understand who he is and to be able to see his face as we continue to seek him in spirit and in truth. That we could know him and be aware of him. All right, God bless you in Jesus' name.